Hey guys, welcome to Zero Decoder. In this video, we are going to talk about how to add custom font in React Native Project. So first of all, we have to download some font family. To download the font family, we have to visit uh, Google Fonts. So just type Google Fonts in your in your browser, and after that, you will get to the this fonts.google.com. You have to open that page. After that, you can see a different font family. So I'm going to download Roboto. So you have to just click on that font and click on Get Font. Let's download another font as well. So I'm going to download this font family name is Madhumi. So I have to just click on that font family and we have to click on get font. So you can see that on the card we have two fonts family and to download this all font families we have to click on download all. Okay. So you can see that we have downloaded Madhumi and one Roboto zip file. Okay. So you can as you can see that we have downloaded a zip file we have to extract these files so I'm going to extract these files quickly now you can see that we have downloaded a font family a Madhumi and the Roboto and you can see a different font family for the Roboto after that uh, in the react native project what you have to do you have to in the root directory in the root directory you have to create one folder name is a uh, assets okay so I've already you know I've already one directory as a name is assets so let me delete it quickly Okay, so what we have to do, we have to create one directory name as a assets. Okay, and inside this directory, we have to create another directory called fonts. Okay, and whatever the fonts you are about to use, you have to just uh, copy and paste that command. So I'm going to use font Roboto Black, Roboto Black Italic, bold, bold italic. So I have to just copy this uh, font and have to paste inside this directory. Okay, so you can see that we have pasted that all the font. Let add one more font, the Madhumi one. So I just paste that as well. Okay. So you can see that we have uh, some kind of font family. After that, we have to create one file in in, in the root directory. Name is a React uh, Native dot config dot js. Okay. And we have to type module dot exports. Okay. And it's gonna be an object. And we're gonna have a one uh, name key as a projects, and inside that we have to add two more key: Android, an empty object, and iOS, okay, an empty objects. After that, uh, after the project object, we have to type uh, assets, okay, and we have to give the pa path of our a uh, custom font. So you can see that we have inside the assets and inside the font. After that, we have to run a command called npx react native uh, assets okay so you have to just hit this command npx oh my bad so people usually do mistake like you know the right command is not npx react native assets but it should be react native assets okay so a lot of time people usually uh, do a mistake so make sure you type this command npx react native asset let me zoom once more you have to type this command npx react native assets and after that you have to just start your server and you can use the font family as you want so let me you know restart my emulator by typing the e okay and let's see how we can use it so use this font family you have to you know open any component like what where whatever place you have your code so i'm i'm having a code inside my home screen component and as you can see that uh, let me zoom out my code we have a one text called name is a match your style and inside this and the style the name is called heading text so let's add a font family here quickly font family okay i'm going to add a one font family uh quickly let's see so we have a font assets so i'm going to use this madhumi uh, one ma madhumi one uh, regular okay so i just type that and you can see that we are able to see the changes and that's how we can add a font family add a custom font family in react native let's change the font family to the robot to a bold and let's see how it's gonna look in so it doesn't change something let's change with something bold italic okay you can see that it's become bold italic and that's how we guys can use a custom font family in react native 
let me summarize it once more what what you have to do you have to create one directory name is the assets and inside that directory you have to create another directory name is the fonts and inside that you can put all your fonts after that you have to create one file name is a react native config.js and inside that you have to write module load exports another object will be project and you have to just pass android ios with the value of object uh, empty object after that you have to type assets and we have to just define the uh, for, uh, assets of path of your uh, assets so yeah that's all in this video thank you bye